Hi, it's April 5th, 2020, and we're getting cabin fever from being locked in the house for the COVID-19. So we thought we'd make a video and show you how Rick uh, made his tire and how it works and how to detach and attach it. And this is what it looks like. Okay, now Rick's gonna put it down. And see how easy it is to attach and detach. So there he goes. He's gonna back up. We'll take a quick look at. There we go. That's what it looks like. So now he's gonna come ahead. He's gonna hook her up again. Just like that. And he's ready to go. He's going to jump off and he's going to do up the clips so it doesn't fall off. So Rick made this snow blade five years ago now and he has had no issues with it at all. He's pushed a lot of snow for ourselves and for other people of course. He's got a few regular customers that he pushes all the time. When he first purchased an eight foot industrial tire from our local co-op and they sell these tires for livestock troughs. So and then he rented a big disc saw and he cut the tire in half and he went through about 12, no, sorry, three 12 to 14 inch circular blades to do the job. Once he finished cutting the tire in half, he took it to our local welder. Nuremberg welding of course and he manufactured a cradle to mount to the tire and also a mount to fit our quick attachment on our John Deere tractor. We designed the angle of the blade to be completely level when the tilt on the loader is fully retracted. This way you never have to worry about if you are at the proper angle. He also added a chain in the front to keep the tire from flexing back which also helps if you ever get yourself in a predicament. When you are stuck, you could use the blade and the hydraulics to actually push yourself out, in which I have done many times. There, you can see the chain there again. The total cost of the tire, saw rental, blades, welding, and manufacturing would have been around $1,200. Now I'm guessing the weight of the blade would be about 800 pounds. Since Rick does custom work in town and at people's farms and yards, he's always running into unexpected obstacles like curbs, sidewalks, rocks, etc. With this blade being made of very sturdy rubber and steel, it has a lot of cushion and flex. So instead of hitting a stationary object and stopping dead in your tracks or ramming yourself against the steering wheel, the blade bounces or flexes over the object. He has hidden lots of objects and has never done any damage to the loader or tractor. Might have taken out a couple little uh, nicks out of the tire, the rubber, but nothing crazy. With this blade, the snow is cradled in, so once it packs in while pushing, the excess spills out, out of the sides. But then after, for cleanup, it pulls and holds the snow together. Yep, he can move a lot of snow in a hurry. And something else that's really good is it doesn't cut your grass up. You know, with the regular uh, loader when, or blade, when you're pushing, it always cuts your grass up. And this doesn't, it just rides right over. You can see the grass here. He's not doing any damage at all. Anyway, we'd like to thank you for watching. Uh, we're gonna hope that you like it and share it and maybe you want to make your own while you're cooped up at home anyway have a good day and we'll see you soon and stay safe